Okay, now we're going to talk about gay, the gaze stabilization exercises. Now, the reason we call the exercise gaze stabilization is that we are now mixing together head movements, saccard movements, pursuit movements, changing the complexity of background. Some of the games have the more of the optokinetic type of backgrounds where we have, they have moving lines. For instance, the falling ball, which you'll see, has the moving lines. So we're now practicing within a gaming environment, we're pr practicing gaze stabilization, head, eye movements together, okay? So we're gonna take the falling ball as an example. Obviously we have to use a sensor. Here again, we have the range. So here we do have the range. So we have the instructions of task in the same way as we had the instructions of task previously. So whether we wanted them to be a horizontal movement of the, of, the, of the head, a vertical movement of the head. So you would do the vertical movement of the head. Okay, let's, let's take it, let's take the horizontal. So you would do the horizontal movement of the head. And we're gonna press next. And very familiar, but let's think about it in the, con uh, the context of vestibular rehabilitation now, okay? So the context of vestibular re rehabilitation is I have the head movements as they're moving from right to left, okay? I have to now jump from one star to the other star, which is my saccade movement. As my playing piece, the object that I'm moving, is moving across, I'm actually doing uh, a pursuit movement okay and I'm doing VOR as well because I have my head moving as well um, and and we can see that we have the different complexities of the background uh, which represent the optokinetic type of challenge because they're moving up and down okay so that completes the gaze stabilization uh, preview